you can bring in Phil Jackson to Indonesia, Tonto, yeah. right? Yeah. You can yeah. train the players, but who are they playing against? Who are they training oh. against consistently? So mentality and skill work in basketball, again, tarikat kan? Yeah, yeah, Always yeah. tarikat. So we got to build that. Halo semuanya, ketemu lagi kita di uh, Main Basket Podcast dengan gue Idan. Seperti biasa ada Dimas. Halo Mas. Selamat malam. <laughs> selamat malam dan selamat pagi ya. Selamat malam dan selamat pagi. Dan selamat sore. Halo Adrian. Halo, halo. Selamat malam ya. Selamat malam juga. Terus kenapa, kita... kenapa selamat malam ya? Nah, kenapa kita bilang selamat malam? Karena tamu kita Karena... hari ini istimewa. Ya. Di kita syutingnya pagi, siang, agak menjelang siang. Di sana malam. Menuju tengah malam. Yuk, kita sambut sama-sama. Halo, Mario Busang. What's up, guys? Apa kabar? Apa kabar, baik, baik. Apa kabar Indonesia? Baik, baik. Ya, itu dia. Sebelum kita ke sana, senang banget akhirnya bisa ngobrol sama Mario Busang. Kita akan ngobrol banyak hal tentang kegiatan Mario. Mario belakangan ini ngapain aja. Kalau yang follow Instagramnya Mario, pasti tahu Mario kesibukannya apa. Tapi uh, gue pengen bawa sedikit teman-teman ke IBL playoff beberapa waktu yang lalu. IBL playoff beberapa waktu yang lalu tuh gue sempat ngobrol sama Arki. Gue bilang sama Arki, Arki, uh, do you realize that beberapa pemain yang berasal atau besar dari Amerika Serikat kita kembali ke Indonesia? itu memiliki kelebihan tersendiri dalam bermain basket. And, dan, kata saya, lu tuh harus terusin ke, kepada saudara-saudara lu yang ada di Indonesia. Karena kayaknya ada hal-hal yang didapatkan oleh teman-teman kita atau saudara-saudara kita yang bermain atau besar bermain basket di Amerika Serikat yang tidak kita dapatkan di Indonesia. gitu. Makanya ketika kita lihat Mario pertama kali datang, Arki pertama kali datang, uh, terus even B-Boy ketika pertama kali datang, kita bisa lihat gaya mainnya berbeda. Nah, berbeda Jawato. sekali gitu. Jawato. Nah, Agasi. Agasi, bahkan Agasi gitu. Nah, hari ini kita punya kesempatan ngobrol langsung dengan Mario. Gua duluan ya, Mario. Ceritakan Setelah pensiun sampai sekarang kesibukannya ngapain aja? Pensiun terakhir di ABL kalau nggak salah. Iya, yeah. saya pensiun dari basket 2018 Desember. So, that's the last time I play basketball. Yeah. Jadi, you, you know, you have to understand, I, I've been playing since I was 10 years old, non-stop, every day, all day. So, after I retired, I took two years away from basketball. Benar-benar nonton aja enggak, ngobrol basket aja enggak, like really really decompress, stay away from basketball. Jadi after two years, um, I started coming back to basketball slowly um, with training. So you know, all the everyone always asks me, hey, look, mind you, mind no, I I just don't have the passion to play anymore. But on the training, I started to find my uh, fulfillment again. Can be bas the basket like it, it's really fulfilling to me. Um, so I was I was a trainer at Shoot Three Sixty. Now Shoot Three Sixty itu itu company di America, a uh, national company. Just so just imagine kayak uh, tempat fitness, a gym, mm-hmm. gym okay. fitness. Tapi un- yeah. khusus untuk basket gitu. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah. it specialized just a, a gym for basketball, and I was one of the trainers to see through. It was me, uh, Muchi Norris, if you guys are familiar with that name, ex ex Houston Rocket. You got he was one of the trainers to, to see through. So it's me and him, uh, the head trainers, right? So, but after I was there for less than a year, and then I started training on my own. You know, I, I started Row Academy, Row Basketball Academy. So, um, yeah, and then so you know, less than a year already. Well, I would say over a year, I've been training basketball full now. Like, that's what I do. Okay. Yeah. Why, Ro? Why, Ro? Uh, kenapa well, dua, dua tahun itu, gue pengen naik, kenapa dua tahun itu sama sekali nggak di basket? Kenapa? I, I think, buat gue sih, like I said, dari kecil, I was playing basketball dari 10 years old, you know, like nonstop. It, 
kayak itu jadi obsesi for me right basketball yeah dari umur 10 tahun so i always took it serious and practice want to be the best and really really worked hard until i was 38 years old uh, you know 38 years old is when i retire so can you imagine that he's 10 years old to 30 years old really competitive with myself you know my training everything like that so i think dua tahun itu for me what decompress decompress dengan all, everything that happened with basketball and just kind of uh, breathe you know <laughs> Ya, yeah. <laughs> ya, yeah, yeah. Mario. Lalu kemudian uh, gimana ngebangun uh, apa ya brand Row Academy gitu? How do you, how do you uh, ajak anak-anak di sana untuk ayo latihan sama saya? Gimana Mario? Well, I mean you build your career in Asia, Southeast Asia. Asia, gitu. yeah. Um, well, I had, I had a, I was new to Houston juga. You know, I, I have only been in Houston. Uh, about two years now and but i started working at a, a basketball company and that is it i was i was training there but i had the most clients i had the most oh, okay. like all all the players wanted to train with me um so that is it i started to fall in love with basketball again and i started to understand yeah hey I, I, maybe i'm this is where i need to be as far as training you know i need to share my 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 experience my knowledge That is it though, is when I said, you know what, I can do this on my own. Let me just do this on my own. And then, uh, you know, of course, Row Academy is always something that I had in my mind. It's been since I was playing, you know. Um, but from training the shoot 360, I think it took the dream became started to become more reality. You, you, you see what I'm saying? That is it though. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Terus kemudian uh, masih gue nih nanti Dimas barangkali karena <laughs> lagi uh, soalnya I'm, I'm, I'm excited uh, apa hal-hal utama yang Mario ajarkan ke ke siswa-siswi di di, di Houston sana? Uh, as far as the training, yes. What is the the oh, main, uh, main, main teachings? The main teachings for me, well, I'm a I'm guard, I'm a guard. Yeah. Uh, so. My main thing is I tell my players there's two things you have to focus on for you to be good and be valuable. One is point is ball handling. Two is you have to be able to shoot. If you can do these things good, then you build on that. But you have to be able to handle the ball and shoot. So we always focus on those things when I train. We always warm up the ball handling. We always it took a nutrici every day nutrition you know what i mean it's ball handling and then we get into shooting so those are the main main things uh, i train obviously yet tergantung anaknya like what level he's at you know then we formulate i formulate my program to whoever the specific player is and what level of uh, skill he is that be the foundation is the same mal lo beginner or you're a pro we ball handle as a warm up And then we get into other things, game situations, skill work, you know, up and you must improve the shot, the mana go down. We go from yeah. there. The ball handle for sure. Okay. Dimas, your turn. <laughs> Lama banget yang gak ketemu ya. <laughs> I know. I miss you too, man. <laughs> man. Uh, Ro, last yeah. you play in ABL, yeah? In China, eh? You play with yes, China, 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 China right? China. Yeah, Zhuhai, Zhuhai, Zhuhai. Yep. Ah, that itu sulit buat lu, or yeah, ah, uh, nothing to lose. I wanna play basketball. Yes. Is your passion, right? Yeah, yeah. How you build uh, your last play, like last dance in basketball? Yeah. How you do? Jadi, buat gua sih. Uh, China itu was a challenge for me. I think yeah. uh, it's a challenge yang uh, yang gua 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 tahu risknya karena itu tim baru, uh, new team. So I, I'm realistic. I know we're not going to compete for championship. Okay. Gua gua tahu itu, but I just wanted to. I guess I wanted to retire on my terms. You know, mm. uh, just try it. Right opportunity. To be the first Indonesian world import, I was not an Asian import. I was a world import at 38 years old, which is crazy. That's why, okay. 
but um yeah i i'm not afraid of challenges you know uh it was it was there the opportunity open and i said okay i'll do it and you know in life you know you you win or you fail the important thing is you try so that's the way i i view uh, life you know so yeah you, you still extra work out there <laughs> uh no hey, i know you after, right <laughs> I, i work out like fitness you think? yeah yeah no I, i still i still fitness a little bit but i like to ride bikes I like oh, okay. the like sped the yeah that's my thing that's my passion is uh like riding by <laughs> bicycle so hey man when you ride bikes you lose a lot of weight it's quick it's very uh it's very healthy you know yep so I, I like it that's my passion right now okay. you know the the players I train here you know these these guys are high school college they're like they're strong right they're strong athletic <laughs> they always have a hey, coach because they think I'm young. <laughs> they think I'm I'm 43 years old, but they think I'm like 28, and I'm they're like, "Don't oh, play one on one." I'm like, "Man, no, man, no way, no way." Like, no thanks, man. Adrian, Adrian, Adrian. Eh, not not trying to be what you just said before. Uh, kita tahu kayak Ro, uh, Arki, kemudian Agassi datang dan kita itu yang dilihat tuh udah pasti tahu beda banget gitu. Begitu kalian datang tuh this guy is different. Kita tahu dari even even the, even word from how you walk is different. Uh, bisa enggak sih dibagi kayak apa sih sebenarnya perbedaan mendasarnya? Jadi for me it's the competition level here and the and the focus to detail. You know Okay, okay, gue bilang tadi, dari 10 tahun, I was training at a level of high level with my team, my coaches, that we're very detailed and we competing every day against, you know, high level. So that's the way you improve. But, but Chuman, you don't just improve your skill, disitu. you improve your mentality, you know, that fight mentality, the never give up mentality, that Daddy, no fear, you know. Daddy, 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 uh, umur 10 tahun, I was training like that, no fear. I'm going up against, you know, strong Americans, you know. Daddy, I think that's definitely one of the most important things is your, the mentality. Selalu, sel- juga selalu, kalau, kalau kita bicara tentang ini, there is always words about details, attention to details. I mean, setelah Ro main di Indonesia, melihat yeah. pelatih-pelatihnya, bagaimana per- details itu? Apakah tetap diperhatikan juga atau sebenarnya we are from we are still far away from that? Well, I think uh, you mean the the local coaches, yeah. pelatih yeah. yang lokal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Locals. local coaches. I think um, they are improving definitely. Uh, I've been I was there 15 years, 15 tahun di sana. They improve, they're improving. Jadi banyak foreign coaches yang Indonesia bawa kan, and trainers, yeah. coaches, things like that. They're improving. But you have to send the players here to train. Absolutely. You have, <laughs> you have to. But you have to train. You have to bring them here consistently and at a young age to come here to train. Because, Chonto, you can bring in Phil Jackson to Indonesia. Chonto, yeah. right? You can yeah. train the players. But who are they playing against? Who are they training oh. against consistently? You, you see what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And apalagi the transfer of uh, information that he chonto Phil Jackson ke this player, this Indonesian player, it's different. It's 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 a long transfer to for this player to understand because it's coming from the, a guy they can't really relate to. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So I think that's important. That's very important. It, for the Indonesian uh, players. Mario, yeah. you you've been in Indonesia 15 years gitu. Mm-hmm. Ketika kamu pertama kali when you were uh, you first came to Indonesia, ada shock enggak ngelihat gitu, oh kok levelnya segini ya? Kok levelnya uh, pretty low uh, compared to to me gitu. And then selama 15 tahun gitu ada enggak is there any uh, concern gitu in yourself gitu looking at uh, Indonesian basketball? dan kira-kira apa gitu yang seharusnya masih bisa dilakukan oleh orang Indonesia sendiri 
to improve their skill waktu waktu yes, berada di sini. Yes, I think uh, I mean go baru ke Surabaya 2014 I believe. Yes. Selama itu I was di t- main untuk klub Jakarta kan. Jakarta. Um, I think yes, I, I was very surprised at the level of discipline, the level of uh, work, ethic. work ethic. No, dulu, you know, when I was there. Yeah. yeah. The improve- there is improvement, but I think it can be faster. It can still be faster, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but it, it's, it, takes, it takes hard work to change that, to change the bad habits, to make good habits, right? And it also takes... Uh, It also takes the right people. Again, the communication is very important. It's very important, the communication. You know, dari lima belas tahun gue di sana, gue juga understand now these players, gitu. Indonesian culture, Indonesian players, how how they receive information, apa yang buat mereka motivate, apa yang enggak, gitu. You know, I understand the culture, right? So I believe, like, you have to send those young players here And we improve them. We improve them. We we make them mentally improve them. Karena you can go there and teach skill all day. You can teach skill all day, technique all day. But you can't teach this and this over there. You got to teach that here. So then once they get it here, conto Agassi. Ini cuma conto. Agassi is not like me, Arki, or, or Joato. Yeah. We grew up Yeah. We're from kids yeah. here. Agassi was sent there. Now, bayangin kalau they did not send Agassi for he was here three years, I think. Yes. Kalau nggak salah cuma yeah. three years. Sama ta- sama ya. Mm-hmm. Kalau nggak yeah. salah three years. Now, bayangin his, he, di dalam tiga tahun itu how much he improved yeah. di dalam tiga tahun itu. Now, bayangin yeah. kalau Agassi five years di sini, six years di sini. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. I think. They need to understand that and really, really have a program to send them here. And apalagi, like I'm in basketball here as well. You know, I I know a lot of people. I know I can help them. I can really, really help the 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 progress of these young players. Apalagi, they look at me like, oh, okay. You know, I can relate to him. You know, my story yeah. is I can transfer my story and my experience and my basketball. Uh, knowledge to them quick quick the, the information can re- be received quick because i can speak to them i can you know it's different it's different yeah okay. it's just it's just yeah. like what happened with derek right derek I mean, uh derek michael yeah he yeah yeah quick. i mean we are we're i mean we are pretty surprised when he was he was going to us he was he, were, he went to australia right and then for one year he improved A lot. I mean, yeah. he's just like a yeah. big man, like just another big man from Indonesia, and then he transformed yeah. as a forward now. Yeah, absolutely. I, itu sangat sangat penting. What his journey was is very important, and he got really blessed. Dia bisa ke NBA Academy di Australia. Um, again, Derek, he was blessed physically already, right? Yeah. Now yeah. you you put you put in the element of good training one year, and then you see where he is now, right? So I think he's, he's going on the right path. Uh, I support it 100%. You know, Derek, support that. That's, yeah. that's awesome. Dimas, ada yang ditanya, Dimas? Mau ngomong dikit nih. Ya, yeah, boleh. Ya. Yeah. Uh, gue tahu Mario lah ya. Kita pernah satu tim. Yep. Dia tadi ngomong, uh, as, as a, you, a basketball player, saat latihan ya kamu harus fight gitu loh. Dan dia ngomong mentality. Gue rasa ya, Uh, ya kita grow up lah tentang basketball tapi untuk yang ini itu loh untuk gue selalu gue kembali lagi ngomong ini ya gue udah ngomong beberapa episode juga udah ngomong mentality fight itu ya kulturnya Indonesia selalu gue bilang gitu loh uh, sopan santun gitu loh ya gue yes. selalu ngomong gitu ya sopan santun yes, dan, yeah, yeah. ya selalu ngomong gitu di Debel Academy gue mulai hari ini sebelumnya udah latihan juga gue selalu ngomong yang terjadi di lapangan jangan dibobok keluar gitu loh. Kalau okay. kalau mau bentuk mentality ya lo harus fight di dalam memang yeah. di lapangan nggak bisa nyerah gitu loh. Yeah. Tapi fightnya ya udah di lapangan gitu loh. 
jangan sampai ya orang Indonesia nih ya kalau gue bilang di luar dibawa-bawa gitu loh. Hmm. <laughs> ya, ya. Itu yang terjadi sama Mario. Gue tahu dia di lapangan ya dia bodoh amat gitu loh. Tapi di luar ya brander lah kita satu tim gitu loh. Tapi di lapangan kalau udah ngomong ke pro lagi ya ini bisnisnya gitu loh. Ya. Siapa yang lebih kuat gitu loh? Ya itu harus dibentuk di Indonesia. Mulai sekarang lu dengerin ini deh, garis bawahin itu banget lah mental sama fight lu di lapangan. Lu harus bentuk di lapangan, tapi di luar ya udah teman gitu loh. Ya, ya. Saudara, itu harus dibentuk gitu. Kalau mau buat ini basket maj- karena itu terus yang dibilang Arki bilang gitu, Mario bilang gitu gitu loh. Itu yang enggak ada di Indonesia menurut gua. Kalau basket secara teknik ya pasti ke cari terus buktinya udah datangin pema- uh, pelatih pelatih dari luar gitu loh. Jadi kita udah ngebent, tapi sisi lain teknisnya ini yang belum kita bentuk sebenarnya gitu loh. Ya. ya. Itu yang harus banget karena ya ilmu dari Mari dari pemain yang lama besar di US pas ke sini ya memang harus ya harus kita ikutin gitu. Bukan bukan jelek ya, bukan yang jelek tapi ya. sisi yang bagus terus gitu loh. Itu yang paling gua tanam sekarang di Devil Academy gue selalu ngomong itu ke anak-anak. Ya ya ya. Gue harus... jadi harus berantem di lapangan tapi berantemnya pas positif fight gitu loh bener memang bentuk yeah. mental lu bukan buat ngancurin teman lu buat jadi cedera buat dia jadi yeah. apa jadi ya pokoknya harus buat grow sama-sama lah gitu loh yeah. oke okay. ini menarik nih apa yang dibilang sama Dimas gue jadi tertarik pengen nanya lagi sama Mario is it yeah. possible Mario I mean like itu kan kultur Amerika Serikat ya sebagai sebuah negara yang besar gitu Dan itu terjadi di semua state, di semua negara bagian sudah seperti itu kulturnya. Tapi memungkinkan nggak Mario membawa sedikit aja gitu, dibikin kecil di Indonesia. Let's say like maybe, maybe ya, maybe like in Satria Muda right now, they have their own culture in building a team gitu. You've been in Satria Muda 2010. Yes, yes. 2010, you 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 champion IBL sama Satria yes. Muda Indonesia Patriots. Yeah. Is it possible to create that kind of culture, bringing that? from America to to Indonesia but uh, applied into the just a small community gitu memungkinkan enggak Mario I believe it is it's possible but if you bring it to Indonesia the time frame for it to be possible is going to be slower than if you bring players at a young age oh here. yeah 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 it, it's possible of yeah. course it's possible but we're talking you know Long the time, process yeah. The, the time frame, the speed of development, you know, the speed of development. Now you can do both at the same time. Yeah. You can do both at the same time. It's possible. You know. <laughs> Adrian, yeah. ada yang mau ditanya? Oh uh, yeah, sedikit out of topic lah. I grew up watching you yeah. guys playing. Both of you, uh, Dimas and uh, Ro, you, you both playing in the same position. Yeah. How you remember? Uh, You know, when okay, kalian, yeah. saat kalian main bareng, saat latihan bareng, gimana sih? What What you remember most from Dimas and also Dimas? What you remember most from uh, Ro? Me first, me first, me first. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sebenarnya, kalau lu, gue mau jujur sekarang, gue banyak nyesal sih saat gue dulu jadi pemain. Banyak penyesalan yang bukan secara teknik ya. Gue nggak ngomongin teknik. Gue nggak nyesal dengan teknik. Tapi secara itu loh, gue baru kebuka mama is blow up, bro. When I was teaching a kids, kayaknya nggak cuma skill deh, memang harus lu tanamin gitu loh. Secara mental itu juga lu paling penting gitu, kepercayaan diri. Gue banyak, ya apa ya, sedikit mentingkan diri sendiri gitu loh. Mikirkan, ah, gue skillnya oke-oke. Okay, okay. Tapi gue nggak mikirin di luar itu gitu loh. Gue sedikit itu yang kecewa. Penyesalan banget gue sebenarnya. Sekarang gue bisa ngomong gitu loh. Oh, ya. Gue nggak bisa lakukan ini dulu ya gitu loh. Karena gue nggak mikir buat, ya... Yeah, Siapa tahu gue berguna buat basket ini saya gue nggak mikir segitunya gitu loh ternyata pemain-pemain yang kita bina sekarang itu penting buat basket Indonesia gitu loh yes. bukan cuma lu sekedar bisnis di dunia itu gitu loh tapi lu juga tanggung jawab itu yang penyesal gue saat ketemu dia nih Mario kan nilainya tinggi gitu loh jadi nyesal lah banyak nggak sesuatu di luar basket yang nggak gue kulik dia gitu loh tapi sekarang gue oh ternyata yang dilakukan Mario waktu itu ya baiknya banyak gitu loh. There's something about age, tahu nggak lo? Karena lu udah tua, <laughs> ya, 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 ya. karena lu udah tua baru what, what, what I remember 
about what Dimas? I remember of playing with Dimas is one of was one of the most fun times I've had playing. We play, we like, I already know what he's going to do. He knows what I'm going to do. So like, we play so fast too. It was fun, man. Like steal, layups, steal, like pass, his passing. I, I, you know, I know where to run. It was just so fun to play with, you know, when he has a, he has talent like that. His vision, his passing, everything. It's like so fun and made the game easier for me. That be, but what, what I was, I want to add to what Dimas said, right? So Dimas has accomplished so much in basketball. Oh, uh, so much, so much. You know, he's achieved so many things, you know. But no championship, he's such a talent. <laughs> but no championship. Wait, but, but listen, me. what you what said, what, what Dimas said is, is very important. And that, a lot of kids go through the same thing. And Dimas, Dimas is very talented. Jedi, the Indonesia, he's very talented, but he, he, so it's not his fault. And he feel like, ah, this is it. I'm good enough already. Yeah. Right. But it's not his fault. It's the culture is like that. Yeah, the environment, yeah. the basketball environment is like that. That'd be, again, what we were talking about. That'd be, what if we change the environment? What if we help the environment understand you guys could be the best? Daddy, they can reach their full potential, God. these young kids. You know, they can reach their full potential now. Tapi mereka... You didn't have anyone to tell you that at that time when you're young, Gandhi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? But now you're telling the, the young guys, right? Exactly. Yeah. So and then yeah, so so you're passing on the blessing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So don't don't feel bad. And I'm telling I'm passing on the blessing too. Before before me, okay, these Indonesian Americans young Gongalati di sini, like me, right? I'm telling I'm mentoring them as well. It's not about basketball, it's building a their mental toughness for life, for, for basketball too. Yeah. Tapi, I didn't have that when I was growing up. I didn't, I mm. grow up in an Indonesian community juga. You know, I didn't have someone yeah. mentoring me. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I, I am here. I grew up here. I'm here. I'm here to mentor them. And I'm also here to mentor Indonesia. I want to help Indonesia grow as in basketball. I want to help them get better. I want to help. I want to see Indonesia. My dream is to see Indonesia at the world stage, competing at the highest level. You know, that's my dream. I, I want to help that. And, you know, I can, I can help that. I believe I can help that, you know? So that's, that's the dream, man. Yeah, jangan we'll, we'll get there. Jangan mikir kayak gue cuma pengen main di Liga Indonesia aja, tapi harus berpikir lu bakal dibutuhkan Indonesia buat Liga-Liga Internasional gitu loh, Asia, di World, gitu. siapa tahu ya enggak? Ya. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, exactly. one of one of, eh, yeah, pertanyaan gue sebenarnya sebenarnya tadi nanya itu sebenarnya kayak kalian berdua trash talk sih? <laughs> no, I don't think so, D. I... Enggak lah, enggak terlalu. Cuma, no. Tapi mentalnya dia menunjukkan, ya lu lawan gue, ayo gitu loh. Tapi kita oh, ya, ya saat di lapangan gitu loh. Mentalnya itu. Gak tumas, gak 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 tumas yeah. talk lah ya. Enggak. My 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 goal, my goal waktu pindah ke Surabaya was mm -hmm. I want to be the champion. Yes. I want to beat beat these teams di Jakarta. Gua mau tunjukin, oh yeah, it's time now. Yes. We're gonna do it. Gitu. That's that was my dream. That was my uh, goal. That was my goal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> gak gak, gak uh, negatif thing, gak negatif egg gitu loh. Tapi positif semuanya yeah. gitu loh. Yeah. Kalau lu yeah. mikirnya bener ya. Kalau mikirnya negatif terus, yeah. ya kelihatan negatif terus gitu loh. Yeah. 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 Uh, 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 gua juga sebelum udah sering banget sih ngobrol sama Dimas tentang ini ya tentang pergeseran gaya bermain juga uh, you guys uh, adalah tipikal point guard pass first lah ya yeah. yeah. you guys collect a lot of assists but right now uh, kayaknya di Indonesia semakin terkikis itu tidak ada semakin tidak ada gitu bahkan Uh, mungkin ya Widi Widi uh, waktu di bubble kemarin average like five assists and it's like one of the most average assists in some year gitu. Uh, kalian sendiri kalau lihat lihat perubahan-perubahan kayak gitu gimana sih? Ya yeah, itu juga that's a skill you have to work on as well passing you know it's a it's a art it's a skill yeah. itu mesti di, dilatih dari you know yeah. for years for you to get to to become good the timing. Uh, baca two two plays ahead, you know, 
you have it's it's work and you have to want to pass you know for me since i was young like i if i get an assist even in high, high school if i get an assist sometimes it feels better than scoring for me i the satisfaction is bigger than scoring i can score yeah. but the pass is just ah just something about it you know yeah and i grew up i grew up watching magic johnson so that's the first basketball that I ever watch on TV is ooh, Magic Johnson. Like, wow, man, he's doing these crazy passes. It's amazing. Like, so th- that, that affected me for sure. Yeah. Ya, yeah, mungkin itu yang samanya itulah. Kalau gua, karena apa gua lakukan itu ya, gua ngerilis NBA, lihat pemain-pemain yeah. yang passing dengan indah dan dihasilkan dengan dang gitu loh. Mm-hmm. Dan prinsip gua main basket pertama adalah service teman dulu gitu loh. Ya. Yeah. Dan nggak tahu ya kayaknya itu nggak nggak gue cari dan nggak diajarin tapi memang instingnya gitu loh art yeah. kata Mario kan memang ya indah aja ngelihatnya emang enak yeah. aja gitu lihat yeah. uh, makanya kalau eh, episode sebelumnya kalau ada ya, eh, pemain yang saat gue asis open terbuka dia tidak mau melakukan shoot atau under basketnya nggak masuk. duduk kayak lah di bench gitu loh. Iya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tapi gini gini gini, gue mau nanya sama Mario, gue mau nanya Mario, Mario. Hmm. Uh, setelah ngikutin basket Indonesia sekian lama gitu, gue juga kadang-kadang berpikir bahwa para pemain Indonesia itu they don't really have the mindset of playing basketball. Playing basketball is score, score the point gitu, score the point. Jadi as soon as you get the ball, start an offense gitu, tujuan adalah mencetak poin. Tidak sedikit pemain Indonesia bahkan di level profesional IBL bahkan di pada saat main di timnas itu kalau sebelumnya kita ngobrol sama pelatih skillnya timnas Indonesia Taylor Varias dia bilang orang Indonesia itu they are too unselfish terlalu baik dia too polite gitu they, they do extra pass too many pass gitu too many pass gitu jadi seharusnya dia sudah tinggal lay up di bawah ring eh dia masih passing I mean like Itu kan, it, it's, for me, it's a mindset. They don't have that basketball mindset. Mindset is about score point. When you have the opportunity to score, dia dulu score gitu. Tapi enggak nih, dia sering banget nih, sudah di bawah ring, eh dia malah passing gitu. Quick, quick answer, Mario, atau penjelasan. For, for me, I, I think... What I, happened gitu, kayak gitu tuh. So, making an assist, a good pass, is very different than being afraid. Very okay. different. Yeah. So you, if a lot of Indonesian players, they give up the extra pass, they give the extra pass because from my experience there, they don't know what to do with the ball. Exactly. They don't know what to do with the ball. So their instinct, this is how they were trained for many years, their instinct is just pass it. They don't know what to do, especially if the competition is good. They don't know what to do with the ball. So you have that's a skill that you got to train that too. If you're comfortable, if you're skilled and you know what to do with the ball, you can make a play. to get a real good pass, to make a play, to get an assist. That's different than just catch and just, ah, oh, buang aja bolanya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aja. Terjadi. <laughs> it's very different. Uh, bukan, it's, it's not that mereka unselfish, menurut gua. Oh, okay. Mereka don't, they don't know what to do with the ball. They're not skilled enough. Because when you're skilled, you're confident. Mm. You, you get what I'm saying? So yeah. if you're not confident, you know, udah look, di, look, ambil aja bola nih. Gila kan? Kayak hot potato kita kita panggil di sini kan? Hot potato. I don't want it. I don't want it. Don't want it. <laughs> so that's very different. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think you have to build your skill work for sure, and mentality. So mentality and skill work in basketball, again, terikat kan? Yeah, yeah. Always yeah. terikat. So we got to build that. Okay, Mario. Uh, what do you think about uh, teman-teman kita, saudara-saudara kita yang di Amerika Serikat yang keturunan Indonesia? How 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 are their skills? How are their ability in playing basketball? Yeah, so I have about seven players that I train. Uh, 3D Texas, two in California, uh, one in Maryland that I, I just met. Um, the skill, they're good. They're very good. Uh, I think they they can help Indonesia. Mm. Ada dua, dua baru 15 tahun. Okay, so they're freshmen in high school. Ada dua, one in Dallas, one in Houston. Very good, man. These guys, both point guard, the thingy, long, baru yeah. 15 years old. They're going to grow 
they're both playing for their high school teams. Man, it, there, there's a bright future of a lot of these Indonesian Americans. You see me, yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Competisi, yeah. Bro. Kenapa? Kompetisi ya. Ya. Di SMA di sana seberapa banyak gamenya? Ya. Yes. SMA, uh, university. Ya. Seberapa banyak? Gimana lu bandingin dengan beberapa kompetisi di Indonesia? And then, and then dari dari SMA habis itu they go to AAU namanya. You know, nah, AAU is the ya? summer summer team. So they, ini beda lagi dengan their SMA kan. So all year they're playing, and then everyone has a trainer. Everyone has a strength and conditioning coach. Everyone is, you know, I I'm training them. It's like so di mana mana there's high level training here. Mm. Di mana mana every a million. So much, so many good trainings here. You know, I mean, you know, I, I speak with I I talk to Phil Handy, DJ Sackman. I mean, yes. we have so many kids that we train. You know, like. They're getting coached and trained by really knowledgeable guys, you know. But every state has it. Every city has a million. It's a lot. It's very important for the development. Very important. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Dari yang pemain-pemain itu, menurut Rowe sendiri, sebaiknya di usia berapa national team need to call them up? Uh, you have a junior national team program, do you got? So... For me, call them up dari sini ke sana, maksudnya? Iya, yeah. yeah. yeah, okay. misalnya, oh, uh, misalnya kayak kemarin kan ada kejuaraan misalnya ke uh, Asia Cup U16, kayak gitu, apakah are, apakah mereka sebaiknya dipanggil juga? Iya, yeah, I think so. I think, it's, I think it's good for both sides, right? Indonesia, it's good because they can see and experience uh, Indonesian American players, you know? At a, jadi 16 Uh, 1600 that's perfect and then it's good for the Indonesian American players you get it's yeah, good yeah. for them to experience the culture karena banyak mereka juga di sini like me I didn't know about Indonesia you know yeah. like, they don't know the culture you get karena mereka gak grow up in Indonesian community di sini they so bukannya mereka gak proud they just don't know they don't just know. don't know yeah you know the same like me in high school I never knew anything about Indonesia It's not related, right? Uh, you're not connected. You're not related with yeah. With and, and, and I didn't have country. anyone. I didn't have anyone yang telling me, hey, ada ini lo, tahu nggak? I didn't have anybody, you know. So with me, when I when I first met meet them and talk to them, they're surprised. But for me, I'm not surprised that they're surprised. Karena gue juga dulu kayak gini. You've been I, there. I, I, yeah. understand. Hey, hey, I totally hey. understand. Same yeah, yeah, journey. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. Okay, Mario, nggak kerasa udah lebih dari 30 menit, but I still have a question at least. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Would you like to coming back to Indonesia, like training Indonesian basketball? Dan sudah ada yang kontak belum, Mario? Pernah ada yang kontak nggak untuk, ayo Mario latih yeah. di sini gitu? Yes, I think, I think for me, yes. I I want to I want to go back. To Indonesia to help and also come here and bring them here to help because I know the value of bringing them here and training them to really develop yeah, yeah, yeah. and me going over there to do to, to help as well yes for sure absolutely but I have to be I have to bring both yeah there's some there's some there's some organizations and teams that Ask me to help out, and I think I will. You know, uh, I will in the future for sure, Great. for sure. I think I can be the bridge for them. You know, for yeah. Indonesia development. I think I think I could be the bridge for that. Okay. You know, I have the facilities here for them too. You know, to anybody that wants to come here, Maldi, California, Maldi, Texas. I have the facilities and infrastructure for them to come and develop at a high level. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Dimas, ada tambahan lagi nggak? Uh, karir terbaik lah, Ruh. Tahun berapa lah di Indonesia? Your best basketball career. No, I'm best moment? Yeah, best no. achievement in Indonesia. Best achievement, iya. Yeah. What, what is my best achievement? Yes. Yeah. For What's me, uh, in, in, in Indonesia, for me, um, 
man, they all, they all are amazing <laughs> stories, but I, I want to tell you maybe one for me, I can remember is the ABL championship um, for me, because we beat oh, San Miguel in, San Miguel in Manila, in Manila. Oh. That was a very memorable moment for me because I don't think, first of all, social media wasn't around yet. <laughs> Yeah. But I don't think anyone believe. Imagine if social media was around. I think Indonesia would be shocked that we beat that San Miguel team in Manila. That was pretty. That, that was pretty memorable for me. Yeah. Adrian, ada tambahan nggak? Yeah, uh, still. Uh, kayak uh, role Arki gitu. Kan, uh, you guys staying for a long time here in Indonesia. How you guys keep your level? Um, so after the season, I always come back to America. Salam Ali Mabastown. So my summers I spend here. Dimas, you know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I think it sometimes it got hard for me to maintain a high level to, to be uh, motivated, but I just had to push myself. And when I come home, I kind of recharge my brain and kind of play here and train here and you know, recharge my motivation. Um, it's not always easy, but you know, you're a professional. Once we, we become professional, you have to be professional. And for me, I always wanted to win championships, man. That's my goal, like to win championships. I think that Ilima Blastown, which one miss a finals, I think five times in my 15 years. <laughs> missed a final. <laughs> like, so I, I always wanted to try to win. That's <laughs> my goal, so it's not hard to motivate me, you know. Okay, Sip. Uh, are you? I want to. I want to invite you guys. Hey, I want to invite oh, you guys to uh, my showcase for the Clippers February 5th. So I have a showcase for the Clippers G League team okay. February 5th. So it's Indonesian Heritage Day for oh, wow. that game. Yeah. Oh wow! What's what's that? A February 5th. I let will send know. you the flyer. I'm going to send you the flyer. Okay? Let us know. Let us know. Yes. DM us. So, DM us. Yes. We're going to do something big. They call they they want me to be uh they want me to do uh -huh. everything big for them. So Indonesian Heritage Day game. Los Angeles Clippers G League, Lawan South Bay Lakers G League. February 5th. That's a Sunday. I'll give you more information. In LA, all right? Great, great. All right, all right, in, all right. In, in California, in Ontario, California, just outside Ontario. of LA. Okay. That's a great news, uh, Mario. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, teman-teman, itu dia. Nggak kerasa, udah lebih dari 30 menit. Obrolan kita dengan Mario Wusang, <laughs> salah satu legenda basket Indonesia. Kita sangat beruntung, akhirnya bisa dengar langsung dari Mario. Uh, terima kasih, Mario. Terima kasih, Adrian. Terima kasih, Dimas. Thank you, guys. Dimas. Seperti biasa, kalau eh, menutup bentar, se sebelum nutup deh. Apa tuh? Uh, buat ada orang-orang yang lagi nonton ini yang mungkin duitnya berlebih, buka gym yang khusus uh, basket. Kayak yang Mario bilang tadi ya nggak? Kita ya, belum ya, punya. Ya. Kita punya ya. gym, tapi ya buat semua orang gitu loh. Ya. Siapa tahu sangat berguna kan? Karena di Amerika ada ternyata ada gym yang memang khusus buat basket. Bener ya, Roy? Ya? Yes, setuju. Hey, Let's and I hope, I hope, siapa tahu, I will see you guys real soon. Yeah. Maybe. Yes. Maybe. Maybe sooner than you think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we know the plan. Maybe we know the plan. <laughs> you give us in, bro. You give us in. Call me, right? Maybe we already know the plan. Maybe. Well, hopefully, Maybe. I'm in. You guys. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, we get to meet. We get to meet face to face next week. Yes. Year, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Mario. Okay, Dimas. Thank you, guys. Subscribe channel Main Basket Podcast. Yang tayang. Nyalakan notifikasinya kalau mau tayangnya, tahu tayangnya kapan, biar ada uh, notif buat kalian kalau ada video terbaru dari kita. Oke, okay, terima kasih. Sampai jumpa semuanya. Thank you, Thank Mario. Thank you, guys. See you, guys. Thanks, bro. See you, Miss you. Guys. Bro. Miss you. <laughs>